Hello, I'm George Kenner. Let's take a few minutes and rough through a video here on how to do video for real estate. The first thing that I want to talk about is the period of time that the video should be. Having been involved in video production for real estate for a period of time, I've come to understand that most people will not watch a video that's more than about a minute long. So what we want to do is take the highlights of the property and as quickly as possible show them in a format that is attractive. We're not trying to do a home inspection and show somebody everything. We want to pique their interest to gain more information. Now let's talk about editing and gaining snippets. And here's what a snippet is. It's a five to 15 second long piece of video that the editor can work with to blend together. You'll naturally walk through the house and see those things that would be attractive, will appeal to someone's eye. All you do is take, and let's go to the first piece of equipment that can be used, is a, I have an iPhone 6 Plus here. This actually has a video stabilization program in it. The video camera that comes standard within this phone is very comparable to most video cameras that you would pay several hundred dollars for. This is a fabulous tool. Anyone that says the video coming out of these is not quality, well, I'm going to put or insert a, a video right now from this overlaid onto the screen so that you can see what it is. Now, one of the next options is a 35 millimeter DSLR camera. Almost every one of these cameras has a video function to it. You can easily put it on a roller guide like this, and this is a roller guide that I made for about $12 out of PVC and some skateboard wheels. This allows for an easy tracking picture that shows stability and is still attractive to the eye. Of course, you have the option of going to a tripod. This is a tripod that's been set up for my GoPro. Now, GoPro can be a very handy tool for any realtor for a bunch of different reasons. It can, you can frame your picture and look at it on your mobile device. You can hit edit. Um, you can, uh, there's an editing suite in here if you want to edit your own videos for GoPro. You can take still pictures, you can take burst shots. This is a very, very handy tool. They're easily um, obtained. They just upgraded from the GoPro, the GoPro 3 to the GoPro 4. Many video aficionados take and sell the, the prior model to go get the new one. Now this is very easy to use and it's very easy to get a um, balanced shot. If you take this and you give the video editor 15 seconds of a panorama, you're, it can be very handy. You can also take this single monopod, pull it up and put it into a very tight place and take still shots as it's controlled right off of your, um, your phone device. Another very handy way to get video or still shots that can be modified so that they're made to appear by the editor as they're moving is with your iPad. This will give you a nice frame for showing exactly what is going to be on the screen as the client would see it. Video is not that hard to work with. You just want to stick to some basic tools or rules like keeping the camera close to you and turning slowly. This will give you everything that you need. Now, for upload within our system, you can take these videos, load them onto your computer, put them into the upload system, and send as many of them as you would like for the editor. One of the things that it, within our system that is very handy to do is to take JPEGs or PNG files that will give a transparency of you as the agent or your logo, which can be placed into the video very easily. I hope this helps. Video is not anything to be afraid of. 
merely this device and a few lessons that can be watched on YouTube and you'll have everything that you need to come up with a quality video to go in line with your, um, your address specific website. You'll be unique in the marketplace. Thank you.